Kia ora, my name's Steve. And I'm Scott. And this is Stephen Scott Rugby Show, and we're going to preview the big game tomorrow against the English, ABs against the English, a much-anticipated match, Scotty. We've been waiting for it for the last year. It's kind of lost a bit of its glow because England's kind of fallen back in the pack over the last 12 months. But still, it's going to be a great cracker of a game. Welcome, Scotty. Hey, good. Hey, Steve. Good to be here and good to uh, share some thoughts tonight. That's right, England. Um, as we know in world rugby, have uh, the last couple of years have been a threat to the All Blacks. And uh, Eddie Jones was apparently was on a winning streak there. Nearly broke the world record of, of the most successive uh, wins for a rugby team. But uh, as we know, Ireland upset them in that game. And uh, Looking forward to it tomorrow night, and it's a, it's a big game. World Rugby needs this game, um, and w- w- we're really looking forward to the game, Steve. Let's get into the team, Scotty. Uh, our front row. Uh, can I just say at the at the get go, this is one of the strongest teams I've seen the ABs put on this year. So they're taking it really serious. But the top, the front three, we've got uh, Carl Tunukuafi, Cody Taylor, and Owen Frank, Scotty. Yeah, yeah, strong, very strong, very strong. And uh, no surprises there. Joe Moody going home early in the week. And it's good to see Big Carl again getting another start. Apart from a little bit of, of experience, we really lose nothing with Carl Tunukuafi coming in the place of Joe Moody, Scotty. Yeah, no, not at all, Steve. And as we know, and as World Rugby is obvious, you've seen, we've spoken about it on our, on our previous shows, that uh, Big Carl... Um, started off at the beginning of the year with no super contract and now he's up for an award uh, as the um, up-and-coming rugby player of 2018 in world rugby. Awesome. 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 Great to see. We've got the Twin Towers back again. Our great lock, Samuel Wallock and Brodie Ritalik, Scotty. Yeah. uh, The... the, the, uh, uh, The Axe brothers are back together again. Uh, Brodie and Sam... Uh, back again, they're back. Both of them are firing, and poor. Uh, I, I wouldn't want to be uh, one of the English locks or one of the English Ford pack coming up against those two at the moment. The, the fire that they're um, on at the moment. Absolutely, we've got Liam Squire, Adi Savia, and Kieran Reed. Um, no, Sam Kane still injured, so Adi gets a crack at a big match again, Scotty. Yeah, definitely, Artie. Uh, he has been firing and he has been on form. He was awesome against the Wallabies uh, the other week. And uh, Liam Squire, Kieran Reed, six, seven, and eight. Um, they're humming. They're humming, Stephen. They're ready to go. It's been a long season. Uh, they've still got a little bit left in the tank. So they've gone with Aaron Smith for this match, and obviously Bowden Barrett at ten. So they. Uh, maybe they're leaning towards Aaron Smith as their A1 uh, halfback, Scotty. Yeah, uh, uh, and it's a good call. As we saw, TJ started against the Wallabies over in Japan, and uh, Aaron's back. Uh, we're not missing anything. He just brings a different uh, dimension to the game, as does TJ. And uh, it's good to have Aaron back. It's good to have Aaron back uh, starting tomorrow night. I like our centre pairing here. I think they've got this right. Uh, Sonny Bill Williams and Jack Goodhue. Sonny seems to always be getting a, a, the, the, the short end of the stick from a lot of New Zealand public. Um, but I'm glad to see him in there and teaming up with Jack Goodhue. I know that you like Jack Goodhue, Scotty. Oh, yeah, definitely, Steve. Um, I'll, all week, I personally was waiting to see who our centre combination was going to be. And uh, when, as soon as I saw Jack Goodhue's name, I gave a fist pump. Uh, and um, it's really good to have him. Uh, with Ryan Crotty, we don't, we don't uh, lose anything uh, with Ryan. He's a safe player. He's a good player. But for me, I think that Jack Goodhue brings just something a little extra special uh, to that centre combination. And Sonny Bill Williams, for all those who, people who are out there who, who are not fans or haters of Sonny Bill Williams, uh, I don't know which Sonny you're looking at, but this Sonny Bill Williams, the, the, one, the one I know and the one I'm a fan of, uh, he brings X Factor, he brings class. Uh, he is good for the All Black system, most definitely, Steve. 
Scotty, I really like our back three. We've got Rick Ione yeah. at number 11, uh, 14, Ben Smith, Bender on the other wing, and D-Mac, they've put into 15. Love that back three, Scotty. Oh, yeah. Steve, I don't think we've seen an all-black back three like this for quite a while, you know. Um, ben Smith, the best fullback in the world, he's playing on the wing. Uh, Damien McKenzie, um, the best, he's awesome. He, he can play anywhere from 10 to 15 and do uh, an incredible job. He brings a little bit of X factor. Not a little bit, he's got a lot of X factor. Um, Damien McKenzie. And Rico Ioani, I'd have to say, is the best winger this year. And um, if he, uh, I believe he's in the running again to uh, for the World Rugby Player of the Year. Um, what a lightning back three that is, Steve. I love it. I love it. And I uh, can't wait to see them fire again tomorrow night. Now, what an amazing bench, uh, Scotty. Let's uh, have a look at some of the forwards on the bench. We've got Dan Coles back into the A1 squad again. Played a good game yes. last week against the Japanese. Uh, Ufa Tungafasi in Nepal, Lala. Unbelievable, Scotty. Oh, wow. How good is it to see Dan Coles? And, and, and he didn't look like he had missed anything. He's been out of rugby for over 12 months. Um, seen him on the pitch last week. He, he hasn't lost anything, Steve, and uh, he's raring to go. He wants that number two jersey back off Cody Taylor. Um, he's up for a bit of a big task to do that, to get that jersey back from uh, Cody Taylor. Uh, off of Tunga Fassi, been consistent all year. Uh, what a great, yeah, what a great bench so far there, Steve. Uh, Scott Barrett and Matt Todd got here. Beautiful. Yeah, Matt, Matt Todd, awesome. Good to see Matt Todd back in. Had a good game again last week, um, against uh, a couple of weeks ago against the Wallabies. And uh, yet deserves a spot on the bench there. Uh, and I'm sure he's priming for the World Cup next year also to uh, be in the mix uh, for that World Cup squad next year, definitely. And Scotty, the backs on our bench, TJ Perinara, probably come on around the 60th or 70th, 50th or 60th minute. Um, yes. uh, Richie Moanga probably around the same 50th or 60th minute and uh, Ryan Crotty what, just some class coming off the bench there, it's scary yeah, I think most teams in world rugby uh, would like those players in their starting lineup Steve and uh, Ryan Crotty like I said we, uh, he, he, he brings a little bit of class, he's got the X factor he's consistent, he can catch a ball, he can tackle um, and he'll come off, and he's he's going to be he's going to be a little bit angry too, Steve, that he's not starting and that he's not wearing that number thirteen jersey tomorrow night. Uh, Richie Moanga, he had a beautiful game against the um, Japanese, the Japan team last week, and um, looking for him again to come in there, uh, show his razzle dazzle. Uh, he's awesome. Uh, I, 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 again, Steve, like we talk about. Richie Moanga, huge fan of Richie Moanga. Absolutely. Well, Scotty, let's get on to the predictions and how the, how, how the, how, who's going to win this match and how the, they're going to win this match. Uh, what's, what's your thoughts, Scotty? Who's going to win it first of all? And how do you yeah. think uh, that team uh, is going to win the match for tomorrow night? Yeah, de definitely, Steve. I, 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 I want to come here for, uh, as a... As a uh, um, I know... Uh, the All Blacks, the All Blacks right now on pen and paper, they are the form team. Uh, Steve, something I really like about the All Blacks at the moment, uh, the Ford Pack's going forward. And when a Ford Pack's going forward, uh, it gives the back time, it gives them space. And I think um, there's a lot of hype around Eddie Jones and his team that they've come through a bit of issues. They've also seen that they've got John Mitchell in their coaching squad. Um, the All Blacks out wide, you can't give them space. Uh, as soon as you put a little bit of pressure on, on the All Blacks, uh, they have the option of just chipping over or the forwards going forward. And I think with, with our, our front row there, uh, scrum, at scrummage time, I think we're going to be too strong for the, uh, the Pommies. And Steve, our, our back line... I think we've just got way too much strike power for the uh, the English squad. The English squad have not had a good run leading up into this game. Uh, they got over the, the box last week 
and we know that the box beat us earlier on in the year. Um, the box, the box, kind of lost that game for themselves, and uh, I cannot see uh, England putting a lot of pressure on the. I think they may like the, the start of the game, the first. 20, 30, 30 minutes, the, the English will come hard at us, at the All Blacks, but I cannot see the uh, English coming within uh, 21 points of the All Blacks uh, tomorrow night, Steve. That's a good prediction, Scotty. I'm pretty much like you. I think the first half will be um, a close affair. I think there'll be a bit of a tussle in the first half. Uh, I think the All Blacks will will score some points probably five minutes before the first half ends and, and some more points um, after five minutes to 10 minutes after the second half. And I reckon around the 60th minute, it will be relatively close. All backs up by about 10. But yeah, I think with their bench coming on, their experience, and keep in mind that the ABs have been playing flat out rugby now for probably the last uh, three months in the rugby championship. So they are, they are pumping. They are primed. Um, England will be gallant um, and they'll show that they're, they're still, I think they're the fifth, fourth or fifth in the world, Scotty. I can't remember. That's right. Yes. And they'll, yes. Uh, they'll, they'll be gallant and they'll put up a good show because it's tricking them. It's, it's, it's their home of rugby. But I think uh, the All Black Force would just be a little bit too much for our Englishman, Scotty. Yeah, definitely. Another matchup I'm, I'm quite um, looking forward to is Ben Teo and Sonny Bill Williams out there in the um, centres. I think that's going to be a pretty good tussle. Uh, but with, with Sonny running the way he's running and with Jack Goodhu running off Sonny, uh, it's going to be a lot to contain uh, for Ben Teo. Um, I, I, I really, I really can't see the Pommies um, bringing any any uh, real threat to the All Blacks in this game, Steve. And uh, yeah, 21, 21 points. Well, they'll beat the Pommies uh, by at least twenty one points tomorrow. Well, thanks everybody for joining with us tonight on the Stephen Scott Rugby Show. Remember, if you like our show, to give us a thumbs up, to share our show. If you're listening to it on Facebook. And make sure that you share the show, that you like it, that you make comments. It all helps our show grow. And we just want to get our show out there to as many eyeballs and uh, as we possibly can in this great rugby world as we talk about the greatest team ever in the whole history of sport, the Mighty All Blacks.